Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Everything's unscripted. I have guests. I don't know what objects they want me to look at and appraise. Here we go, here we go. I got a deal coming for you too, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori, what's your name? Hi Dr. Lori, this is Judy. Hi Judy, where are you calling from? From Pennsylvania. Nice to see you. So how nice. can I help you today? Nice to see you too. Oh, I have this set of um, a necklace and earrings. Very nice. Is it marked? It's quite big. That's a big statement necklace. Yeah, it's it's only 16 inches. Is it marked? Is it the marked? Earrings are, um, is it marked, clip -ons. Judy? Is it marked, Judy? Is it marked, no. Judy? No, There's right? Marks. Okay. <laughs> All right. I always ask about the mark. We got to know about the mark. This These particular pieces, studio pieces, very nicely done. Good condition. Costume jewelry. Value on the set? About $85 for the set. I like that set. I like that set a lot. Now, I wouldn't wear it too big for me, but I think it's a nice set. Judy, thanks so much. Thank you, Dr. You're welcome. Lori. You're welcome. Nice to see you. When I ask you a question, answer the question. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, thanks to Judy and all of you for being with me. Yeah, I've got a great, I've got a great deal for you. A great deal. Running a special over 30% off what? Dr. Lori says t-shirts. Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if all of you were wearing the t-shirts live and when you go thrifting, that would be really cool. So I've got that special for you. Go to the specials and shop page and you can take advantage of this big, deep discount. So just go right there, the special is shop page and get your Dr. Lori says t-shirt. You're all priceless. <laughs> I've got my guests and I'm so happy to be with all of you. This is Ask Dr. Lori live. Thanks for joining me. Hi, it's Dr. Hi. Lori. Oh, oh, I don't think we have a good enough um, connection there. I'm sorry, not a good enough connection. Let's try something else. Here's something else that I want you to remember. Oh, here's another guest. Hi, Dr. Hey, Lori Dr. here. Lori. How are you? Doing? Great, Hi, how good. are you? Good, I'm good. Um, expert answers to your questions. Tell me your name, where are you calling from? I'm Mary and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Nice to see you. So I've got a question of the day for you. Are you ready? I am. You're at a wedding. What gets you out on the dance floor? Is it Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven, or Cool in the Gang's Celebration? <laughs> cool in the Gang. Cool, cool in the Gang. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. I won't sing for you, but yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. Right. Here we go. What have you got for me, kiddo? I have got this brooch. Uh, back up a little bit. Back up, back up, back up, back up. We're waiting for your camera. To, there you go. We're trying to have your camera um, focus. That's terrific. Okay, so how did you acquire this brooch? In the middle of that brooch, it looks like that there are actually some set stones. Looks like it is a piece from the early 20th century um, with a gold tone metal. Is the metal marked? It said there's three diamonds on the back, not diamond diamonds, but diamond shapes, and they say 15, and then the last one says CT. Okay, great. All right, so that indicates that your piece is probably English. You're using a carat weight mark that's typically used in, in Great Britain. Um, how did you acquire it? Did you purchase it? I found it in a bag of jewelry at the Goodwill. Oh, how much did you pay? <laughs> well, I paid 24 for the whole bag. For the whole bag, a lot of stuff in the bag, a bag oh, like yeah. this size? Yeah. Probably about stuff. four or five pounds, yeah. So value on, so value, four or five pounds, that's a nice one. Value on that piece. $225, $250 retail value, all my values based on actual sales record. Today's market, I'd probably be around $225. Really nice piece. And enough for you to basically flip that and have something left over to take advantage of the t shirt deal. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. A t shirt. All right. Nice to see you, Mary. Thanks so much. Congratulations on that goodwill find. We're fun hunting for treasure today, guys. As always, hunting for treasure. I'm going to praise your pieces. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. It's great to be with all of you. Don't forget that if you don't want to do it this way, if you don't want to be the part of the public, you know, on air channel um, appraisals, you can do a video call with me and you can sign up for those. My appointment schedule is open. You can choose the date that you like. You can do it right there at drlorivee.com. Yay, that was a great one. I love to hear when there's jewelry, when there's gold, when there's 15 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat gold right in those bags. And a lot of the costume jewelry that isn't 14 karat gold in those bags is worth a lot of money too. So great, that's wonderful. Hi, it's Dr. Lori, how are you? Hi. Hi. I'm Cindy from North Carolina. Hi, Cindy, how are things, good? 
Very good. Andy, we got to get some stuff on your walls. You got one lonely painting there. We got to get oh. some stuff on the walls. We got a few. Oh, oh, I love <laughs> sea turtles, Cindy. This is my happy space in progress. It's you my, it's tricked okay. me. You tricked me. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love sea turtles. They are my favorite. Me too. I love them. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so I'll be quiet. I'm totally wrong about your interior decorating now. <laughs> All right, you're what? at a wedding. Who do you dance to? Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven, or Cool in the Gang Celebration? What gets you up there dancing? What makes you pull your partner up to the dance floor if you're at a wedding? Celebration. Celebration. Cool in the <laughs> Gang. Hey, all right. Okay. So, all right. So I hope you're going to get your T-shirt. They're on sale now. Hey, I like the painting. <laughs> I like I the painting. Pretty boy. How'd you acquire it? I found him at a local thrift store for $4.99. Can I see the back? Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> don't like the back. Don't like the back. Here's why I don't like the back, because now the back tells me that that's a reproduction that's been highlighted. OK? okay. So feels like can feels like oil on canvas. And in parts, it's oil on canvas. But the majority of it has been printed on. And then they highlighted with the actual brush strokes. The okay. frame dates to about the 1950s to the 1960s. Value. How much did you pay for it? And where'd you get it? Four ninety nine at a local thrift uh -huh. store called the C Van, ran by doctors' wives. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. So then it goes to charity. The money goes to charity. Yeah, that's always good. All right. So four ninety nine. So five bucks. I would say is probably worth fifty. Okay. Cool. Still not bad. Ten percent is good. Thanks yep. so much. Thank Ooh, you. Game. Say yes. <laughs> fun, fun. So remember, frames are going to have some value as well. Um, but when you see some, what did I, I didn't like the, the sticker, which indicated basically said in big, like neon light, we are a reproduction, that blue mid 20th century sticker on the back of her piece. And also if you saw where the, um, where the dust screen was, where the paper was right underneath, you saw a bright white canvas coming through. When you see that, you usually have something that's a reproduction or relatively young, right? Older pieces are what usually we're looking for. Anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. The newsletter went out recently. A lot of you are like, where's the newsletter? Where's the newsletter? There it was. Came to you today. So again, subscribe to the newsletter. All kinds of tips that I provide for you and lots of new information at drlorivee.com that the newsletter subscribers are getting. So uh, I want you to sign up because you'll get the inside scoop. Inside scoop on things like how to tell fake costume jewelry. What are the silver marks that you should be looking for? How do I indicate tips so you can buy that diamond? That kind of thing. So uh, love to see all of you. I'm happy that my guests are here. I'm happy that you're all here. Don't forget to rewatch on the replay if you missed something here. Here's my next guest. All right. Hi, how are you? Dr. Laura, I'm great. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing fine. So what's your first name? Where are you calling from? I'm Benjamin. I'm down in the sunshine state of Florida. Michigan. I see a Michigan shirt. I know you're hiding, Benjamin, and you can hide. That's fine. If you don't <laughs> want to be on camera, you sure don't have to. But I see that Ann Arbor go blue on your shirt. <laughs> just for you, Dr. Lori. Thank I just you, baby. last season, but I wore this just for you. I appreciate that. I want you to take advantage. And what I want to see on this channel is t-shirts that say, Dr. Lori says I'm priceless. So I'm giving you th over 30% off. Go and take advantage of the deal because it's going to end soon. So go take that. advantage of it. So Michigan t-shirts are good. Dr. Lori says t-shirts are better. How'd you acquire this piece? A beautiful, beautiful. How big is this? Is this a paperweight or a marble? It's a five inch Murano vase. Wonderful. Oh, it's a five inch Murano vase. Okay. You got to back it up, honey. That's yep. okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. You can hide, but I got to see the whole piece. Let me back it up here for you. You don't look so bad that you got to be hiding. <laughs> Very nice. I like this yeah. a lot. I love the ribbon work. Can I see the bottom, yeah. please, so we can identify the pond till? There you go. Very nice. And your camera's working beautifully. How did you acquire it? Uh, my better half found it at the flea market, brought it home. She said she talked the gentleman down at the end of the day from 20, what, 35 to 25. Oh, she did very well. She did very well talking him down. Yeah. So night, good for her. How come you ended up with it or is it hers and you're just being the, you're just being the on-air talent tonight? Well, I was elected for this call. You'll be hearing okay. from us both very soon. Okay, I understand. I understand. Well, I think a couple of things. First of all, Murano, nice. I'd like it to be a little taller, but the small ones are cute too. Value on that one about, 
95 to $100 retail value. The other thing that I want you to think about is since you made so much good money on that piece, take some of that and buy yourself and your wife a T-shirt. I'm Dr. Lori. Nice to see you. Thanks. All right. Have a great what night. Fun. What fun. Thanks, Benjamin. Go blue. Go yeah. Blue. My friend with the Michigan. Oh, yeah. Had a great time in Michigan. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to even think about how many decades ago that was, but it was sure fun, sure fun. Oh, goodness. I'm Dr. Lori. Thanks so much for your support with Super Chats and Super Stickers. That keeps the team working, of course, and it keeps me making more videos for you. Can a Murano clown be 26 inches tall and 20 pounds? Hi, Quentin. Well, you know what I have to say? I've seen pretty big Murano clowns um, in my more than 22 years of appraising, 22, 25 years at neck of the woods of appraising object. So I have seen them quite big. Um, a lot of people copy the Murano clown. So be careful, make sure that you've got the real deal and I can help you identify that. Good question though. Thanks for your good question. I'm Dr. Lori and we're having a lot of fun with my guests. It's so nice to see all of you from all over. I did a video call with a woman from New Zealand the other day. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I like to, of course, talk to all of you from near and far, whether you're right next door or somewhere else. Here's my next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi. Do you know how much I love you and I love your show? <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank Darlene you. from Missouri. The Shelby Hello, State. Darlene. Hello, sweetheart. Aren't you nice? Hi. I love you too. Mwah. Big kisses to you. Oh, I'm glad you love the show. I love doing the show. I'm lucky I get to do it. So tell me, um, what have you got for me? I have what I call her Big Mama. Okay, I'm looking at your doorway. At your Show me that. Okay, Show oh, me, sorry. Okay. That's all right. This, I'm new at it. Back up, back yeah. up, back up. Let me get it ready. You're getting better. Okay. Don't get yourself in it. Just show me the piece. We'll see. We'll come back to seeing you. Show me the piece. Hang on, I'm trying. Down, down, down. There it is. You're getting closer. It's like working the opposite, isn't it? No, all you got to do, there it is. Okay. Oh, oh, where where it is? Out. Trying to work it out. Ah, okay. okay. There she is. Okay, oh, she got it. Okay. Is it. Is it signed? Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, what is it? Who's it, who's it signed by? E. Hatton on the front and on the back, Edna Hatton, and a bunch of writing and liter um, scriptures and the, the date right. Right. and another right. name that alongside of hers. Hold on, hold on. The date. Is the date in the 1930s or 40s? 1969. 1969. Okay. So it's a revival of something that's called social realist art. It oftentimes focuses on folks who are doing labor, you know, so this one's later. I don't like that it's later that devalues it. Some value on your piece about 50 bucks. How did you get it? I acquired it for 40 bucks with these other two here on the table, the rooster and the lithograph. Okay, so 40 okay, bucks. So you got a group of things for 40 bucks. So you did okay. You did okay. I want you to focus a little bit more on pieces. That one is original and it's nice. Um, but I want you to focus on pieces as opposed to getting sort of a group of pieces that you're not sure. But you did okay. You're a little too close to retail for my taste. But nice to see you and I love you. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Do you ever hit the Berkshires? Oh, yeah. I I've been to the Clark, the Berkshires many, many times. I always miss the Berkshires, of course, to be there when um, James Taylor is at Tanglewood. I love the Berkshires. So, yeah. Yeah. I go all over the country. I have for many, many, many years. Hi, this is Ask Dr. Lori. I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Cindy. Hi. I'm calling from Oregon. Hi, Cindy. Thanks so much for joining me on the show. If you're at a wedding, which song gets you up on the dance floor? Is it Bruno Mars or Cool in the Gang? Absolutely. Cool in the gang. Cool in the gang. Okay. Okay. Do you have a Dr. Lori t-shirt? They're on sale, you know. I'm going to get one. I promise. Okay. Get one. Get one soon because it's going to end. So get to it. I anyway, show me what you got. Here. Show me what you got, honey. I have this nice. beautiful quilt. It's a beautiful quilt. Can you get closer to it? Just show me like one of the flowers. Is it applique or is it? It's it's, applique. it's both. Wow. Hand pieced, hand stitched, hand quilted, applique. Very nice. Uh, how did you acquire it? I actually won this in a raffle. I never win anything. <laughs> I never do any either, Dr. No. Lori. It's the first thing I ever won. I have one sister who wins a lot of things online. I have another friend who wins a lot of contests online. I don't win anything. Are these the people who made uh, it? Yes, it's all the ladies. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, that's okay. Just tell me what it they is. It's all, all the ladies who made it. it. Is it two, 2015, so it's new? 
Yes, it All was right. by a quilting, some ladies that have a quilting circle here Gosh. locally. I wish I had and time for a all quilting the circle. I hardly have time to like, you know, get up, go to the bathroom, take a shower, do the hair. I mean, you know, <laughs> wow, quilting circle, right. that's great. Although that's very good Isn't for a this... lot of people. It's good for community and all. Anyway, I digress. How big is it? It's about eight by eight. Eight by eight. Okay, that's pretty big. All right. So it's very obvious, big. Yeah. Obviously, it's new. Well, eight by eight is big. Obviously, it's new. I really like it. Um, so you acquired it because you won it in a raffle. Did you say? Yes. Okay. I did. So how, I, how much I was, was your so raffle? How much was, was Cindy? How much was your raffle ticket? Well, I think I bought twenty-five tickets for forty dollars, something okay. like that. All right. So say for all of them. 25 tickets for $40. So say maybe you paid five bucks. I would say value on yeah. that piece, just about $300. Oh, Beautiful. thank you, Dr. Lori. My pleasure, honey. Thank Take you good very care. much. I just love it. Thank you. A lot of work put yeah. into that. A lot of work put into that. But it's always nice to raise money and to do something great for charity. Nice to see you. And it's great to have all of my guests here. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter will give you a lot of information. I even show you on the newsletter how to tell the difference. And even with a video to back it up, how to tell the difference between 19th century and 20th century quilts. So quilts from the Civil War versus quilts from, you know, uh, you know um, the late 1900s. So, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? Look, I have my shirt on. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> there it is. Yay. There it That's, is. Your shirt says Dr. Lori. It doesn't say Dr. Lori says. Did you get like a special shirt? I don't know. <laughs> That's, the one. That's what they that's the what one, they sent me. The ones that I have here on the set, you'll see it in a minute. Say, Dr. Lori says, that's funny. All right. Well, we got to talk to those people. That's funny. <laughs> that's special, though. You got something special. So got to do something yeah. special for you. I got something, something with an error on it, right? What's your first name? It's not really Lisa. an error, but a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lisa. Lisa, well, you're a good sport, kiddo, and you look good in it. You're looking yeah. really sharp. I like this. Thank Lisa, you. tell me what's behind you. What's all that stuff behind you? Oh, you've seen it before. Have I really? Who remembers? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Frida um, wrap. I have oh, a son. Nice. What's up with the pillows? Are you sleeping on the couch? Did you get in trouble? What's happening? <laughs> no, it's in my room. I'm in my room. Oh, all right. Okay. You're comfortable though, right? <laughs> Sometimes when I don't feel that good, I go sleep on the couch. You know, yeah. you feel good. you're kind of like, anyway, I have to talk about <laughs> aches and pains. So thank you very much. for the rest of you who don't have one of Lisa's t-shirts, you can get it at a discount now over 30% off. Show me what you got, sweetheart. I'm hoping I can get it without the glare. Well, you oh. can't. You can't get it without the glare. It's not, it's very glary. There I am. You know, it's glary. <laughs> That's better. All right. Now all the way forward for me. All the way forward. All the way forward. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Now go straight up. Up, 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 up. Keep going. All right. I got it. <laughs> okay. All right, how'd you acquire it? At a Goodwill. How much? Um, it was on half off, so like a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, that's about worth a dollar ninety nine. So <laughs> why did you buy it? Did you think it was pretty? You like the landscape? Yeah. Um, I looked at it with the loop, and it looked like a watercolor. Okay. And um, underneath, I could see the brush strokes. Um, okay. It's an I'm... aqua tint. It's a print. Right, based on watercolors. And the reason why you like it, I'm going to tell you why you like it. You're going to go, she's going to tell her why she liked the piece. Yeah, here's why. Your eye rests at every interval. Your mm. eye rests at the at the shore on this side. Your eye rests at the other side of the pond. Your eye rests above that, that tree line. Your eye rests again at the next gray, green line. Your eye rests where the sky meets the treetops. Resting, 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 resting. That's why the pillow's on your, on your bed. That's why I'm thinking about, you know, all relaxation, nice horizontals. That's what we like. And that's attractive to the eye. It's a composition that a lot of people like. And I want you to learn these techniques, these methods, because this will help you to identify fine art. Value on your piece, $150. And if you were at a wedding, what gets you out on the dance floor? The question of the day, you got to answer it before you go. Bruno Mars locked out of heaven or cool in the gang celebration. Cool in the game. Okay. Thanks for buying the t-shirt, Lisa. Absolutely. You're supporting us when you do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Dr. Right. Lori. What fun that was. What fun that was. Thanks for being with me. 
I love to see all of you and what you've got. You've been treasure hunting. You guys have been busy, busy treasure hunting thrift stores, yard sales, antique malls all over. I want to see what you've got. I want to remind you that certain pieces are going to increase in value. And I want to teach you so you can succeed. So you know what to buy low and then resell it high. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Lori. It's Nancy Fafata. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nancy, your hair is looking sleek. You're looking so good. Mine's all everywhere. Gosh. It's a rare day. It's a rare day. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. I like it. I like it. So how can I help you, hon? I have a passion for small things. You like little things? Little things. Uh-oh. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that. I That's believe nice. It was marked Dollhouse Furniture. I believe it um, is a salesman sample. Can you get a little closer for me, sweetheart? And where, what state are you calling from, Nancy? I'm calling from Georgia. I'm sorry, Georgia. Yeah, that's not dollhouse furniture. You got to have a big dollhouse for that, <laughs> right? It, it's marble. That's a nice piece. It weighs about 14 pounds. It's 25 inches tall, 14.5 inches wide, and 7.5 inches deep. I have to tell you that I don't think it's a salesman sample. Okay. I think it's a little bit too late in the time period for a salesman sample. What I think it is, is it's someone who's trying to make the miniature version of what they have, probably for their child, right, or grandchild to play with. I think it's a beautiful example. Did you, How much did you pay for it? Where'd you get it? $35 at an estate sale. Okay. A lot of the times people think, oh, it's smaller and miniature and it's dollhouse or it's a salesman sample. $35 for an estate sale for a piece like that that's worth $800 is a real bargain, sweetheart. Good oh, for you. Congratulations. That's a real bargain. Thank you so much. Wow. Good for you. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The drawers come out. The panel doors open. There's probably shelves inside. There Woo! are shelves. And it's, it's, it's much like an East Lake picture, uh, piece I have. There aren't pegs for the shelves. It's a ratchet design. And the shelves okay, it's not East Lake, honey. It's yeah. not East Lake. It's Victorian style, but East Lake is very specific. So, okay. but I like that you like that you know East Lake. That's great. I think it's really nicely done. And you even have your lazy Susan out to show us all forms. Good for you. Eight hundred dollars on that one. That's a real bargain. Congratulations. Thank you. Ah, so much fun. So much fun. So again, a couple of things. You know, salesman samples are very popular, have been popular in antiques for a long time. Dollhouse furniture always sells well. People are surprised by that, especially the stuff that's handmade. Dollhouses go really high, too. Uh, but that piece was really quite fine. I liked it. So a Victorian style piece. That's right. How can I tell brass from bronze without the patina? What does that mean without the patina? So, I mean, basically, there's going to be, of course, a metallic coloration on most metals. Um, bronze usually is much heavier in weight then brass, so if you had a piece of brass and you had a piece of bronze and you lifted them both up, the bronze is usually heavier. That's one of the ways to tell. But there are many ways to tell. Um, oftentimes, it's all about com comparing, contrasting, and doing it over and over again. Educate those eyeballs. I'll show you more about that on my videos about sculpture, too. So thanks for that question. Great question. I'm Dr. Lori. Thanks to my guests. It's great to be with you. Don't forget, I've got a deal going for all of you. I want to see that everybody's cool wearing Dr. Lori t-shirts. Dr. Lori says I'm priceless. We have them on special for a limited time. So I hope that you'll have a chance to check that out. Hi. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Marco from Italy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, no, you can't hear me. He can't hear me. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, it's always nice to see my friends from Italy. Oh, well, we'll try again next time. Oh, goodness. We've had a lot of fun with everybody internationally, so I'm so glad that you guys... Poor thing, he's up so late, too. He's probably up quite late waiting. Oh, well, we'll get back to him. We'll try again. But sometimes if, you're, um, if your connection doesn't work, there's not, not a lot we can do on this end. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm great. Thank you. Nice to see you. What's your name? My name's Heather. Hi, Heather. So Hi. tell me, what have you got there in front of your pretty face? What's going on? <laughs> Thank you. I have an oil painting that I, I came across many years ago. And I, I bought it because I, I don't know, I was just attracted to it. It was behind glass. 
in this old frame here. Oil paintings are not supposed to be behind glass. I when, know. You see an oil, when you see an oil painting behind glass, uh, one of two things has happened. Someone decided to put it behind glass and didn't know any better, or the artist painted the painting and had to ship it sometimes to an exhibition, and then they put it behind glass because they want it to dry before okay. it gets there, but it's not intended usually to be behind glass. It's like putting my sweater behind glass. You know, art needs to breathe. Right. I'm sorry, I should say it this way. Oil on canvas needs to breathe. So can you hold it up so we can see it? Because I'm looking, yeah, there you go. And over there it is. That's a very nice painting. I like the Ray Poussoir figure, which is, of course, all the greenery that sort of gives you a, a frame within the painting so you can look through the painting. Right. And tell me, how did you acquire it? Um, I bought it well, pro many years ago, I believe at the Goodwill. And when you I... Pay? Oh, probably $3. Okay, so your $3 is like your number. Yeah, right. three, I, because I was I liked it, but it was a, the the frame was crappy and, and the back of it looked crappy. But I did Can take I it that? apart and it says war war grade, yeah, um, war grade, and and on the back it was cut on a a mat. It was said uh, the J and R Cooper Royal Studios flashlight. I don't know. if yeah, okay. So they cut it on a map board and they basically pulled the map board away. I was hoping that maybe it was a, a Glasgow I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was hoping maybe it was one of the Glasgow boys or girls. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That would be nice, but that's not possible. No. Value on your piece, just about $100. And I would say it's in it's very nice condition, even for the glass um the glass over it in the frame, I'd get a good frame for it and I'd make sure that I would not have it dry mounted. Okay. Thanks I so just much. Nice, nice Thank to see you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. So lots of things you want to think about. It's good that she's looking into other artists to see if it's a comparison, but a lot of uh, that piece like that is looking at some of the fame, famous artists of the international on the international stage. So that's a nice piece as well. So, I hope you're um, enjoying this. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori. I'm going to give you expert answers to your questions. So, you know, years in museums, years in an appraiser, years of doing this for all of you. So you learn what you've got, what to look for. And here's my next guest. Hello. Hi. You're doing something else? You're not Hi, paying Dr. attention? <laughs> I made it. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? What are I'm all good, the I'm good. I'm good. I'm so happy. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm so happy. I got to see. I got to talk to you. Uh, I'm Joey from Little Canada. Hi, Joey. Oh, oh, what are the hats? All the hats. What's up with the hats? Oh, this is my my husband's man cave. <laughs> your, husband, your husband's Pass man cave. Stuff. Yeah. I got my hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's this good. is my Thank husband. You, yeah. So, so your husband's man cave. And um, tell me, if, you're at a, if you're at a wedding, this is the question of the day. You're okay. at a wedding. What do you want to get up and dance to? Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven, or Cool in the Gang Celebration? Uh, celebration. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you. I want to vote for my yeah, girl. Bruno. Yeah. I'm surprised at this. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to talk to you. I'm well, happy to talk to you, honey. Yeah, I, had, I had an epic uh, uh, fail of trying to get in for so many times. <laughs> so well, happy. I mean, I'm a popular, darling, Joey, I'm a popular girl. People you want to talk to me. <laughs> trying. And you know what would be cool? The next time you're trying to get in, you're wearing your Dr. Lori Says t-shirt. That would be oh, cool. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I will. I will. I will soon. Yeah. They're 30% you know off. They're <laughs> over 30% off now. Show me what you got. Okay. I got, I bought a um, uh, client's Bellini's, uh, um, in front of you, in front of your face, in front of your okay. face, so I can okay. see the piece. Okay, there, you, there go. Is. you bought this where? Uh, Salvation Army. Okay, uh, how much did you pay? I bought. Uh, I bought a whole collection. It's a, it's in a box. It's in a what do you call it? a portfolio box. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought it for twenty dollars. Mm, okay. uh, I think it's a lithograph. It's a color lithograph. Yes. yes um, and uh, I got 18 of the series, nice. one to 18. And in in the box it says I it's included a B collection B B set is included. So I got a different I got an extra 10 pieces of uh, uh, of the rest of the series, 
with a different. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, back up, back up. You got <laughs> eighteen of them in the box in the portfolio. Then you got another ten of something else. Is that right? For twenty bucks. Yes. All right. So, well, you're doing great. You're over, you're like a fifty cents a, a print. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. And my yeah. math is not great. So I would say that that particular piece, late twentieth century, right? So color lithograph. I like the animals. I like the landscapes. Everybody likes that kind of stuff. Hello to Ireland from Ireland and value on that piece alone. Just that piece, $45. Times Ooh. every single one. If they're the same size, the same type, the same artist, 45 <sighs> times 18. And then the other 10 are different. So we have to look at those another time. Wow. That is cool. That is cool. It is. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy, baby. I'm happy so too. <laughs> Thank you for being with me. I love happy. You got to like happy, right? Oh, what fun. You guys are finding so much stuff. I'm so glad. Get the t-shirts. Get the t-shirts. We're going to support the channel. I love to see it. I want to see them here on air. I want to see them out when you're thrifting, right? So um, it's great to help all of you make some money. And I know a lot of you have been calling me on video calls. You can book your video call too, telling me, Dr. Lori, I'm up in my game. I'm able to actually do this. I wanted to leave my job. I wanted to have a side hustle in retirement. I wanted to help my kids and I'm able to do it with what I love, thrifting and reselling and finding great things that I can keep for myself too. I'm so proud of all of you. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. What's your name? Hi, my name is Joanna. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, Joanna. What's so nice happening? You. Hey, you've got a lampshade on top of a lampshade. Exactly. Decorative. Oh, oh I get it. It's a look. <laughs> right? There you go. Nice I'm to so see you. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm happy to meet you. Where are you calling from? Maryland. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we're taping tonight from Pennsylvania. So tell me, what have you got? What? Do, oh, I got to ask you the question of the day. I almost forgot. I always forget. The question of the day. Do, you're at a wedding. Everyone's like, oh, you're not going to dance. You're not going to dance. I never dance at weddings. I'm not moving this big, you know, person around. Anyway, so I'm not going to dance. Bruno Mars comes on, locked out of heaven. Do you dance to that or do you get up when it's cool in the gang celebration? Celebration all the way. <laughs> okay. Cool in the gang. Wow, the 70s is rocking it at this wedding. All right. So show me what you got, hon. I have the. Oh, the yeah. Born of plenty. Yeah. You've got a red, you've got a cranberry glass, cranberry glass, gilt enhanced cornucopia or horn of plenty on the base, all hand gilded. That's nice. How much did you pay for that? It was actually handed down to me. It was what it was my mom's mom. Oh. And then it went to my mom. And when she passed away, it was handed down to me. Wow. Yes. If you're watching, I want to know cool in the gang or Bruno Mars, type it in. Wow, that is beautiful. So a keepsake, a family heirloom, really nice. Big, too. It's got to be 20, 22 inches tall, huh? Exactly, yes. Wow. Gorgeous. Early 20th century until about the 1920s. Value on that piece, easily $350. Today's market. And I hope you hand it down and keep it for a long time. Make sure you're not overzealous when you're cleaning. No soap, no commercial cleaners, no end dust, white cotton cloth. That's it. Dust it okay. off and move it along. And be careful of pets, cats, or little kids who like to play baseball in your living room. <laughs> exactly. Hey, so nice okay. to meet you. So nice to meet you, Dr. Lori. Thank you so much. My I'll pleasure. see you again soon. Okay, take care. We're running that special. The special ends soon. I'm Dr. Lori. Get your Dr. Lori Says t-shirt, and I'll see you next time.